Good morning. No new exercise today, but I promise I'll be back tomorrow with a new variation of an old exercise that will fit in well with just about anybody's home-based workouts. But I wanted to address a question that came up a couple times yesterday by email as a result of yesterday's video. And by the way, thank you for people that are supporting this, and this is becoming just a tiny bit of a thing, so that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so the question has to do with how do I know how heavy to go or how much weight I should use in a given exercise? And my standard response to that is always, well, if it feels too light, it probably is. And if it feels too heavy, it probably is. But a better rule of thumb is that you wanna use the heaviest possible weight in the best possible form. So in short, if you're selecting a weight for any exercise, whether it's an arm curl or a shoulder press or a squat or whatever, a good rule of thumb is that it should be heavy enough to be challenging but it should be light enough that you can achieve the desired repetitions in good form. So if your last repetition is starting to break form just a little bit, say that ninth, 10th repetition where you're breaking form just a little bit, that's probably heavy enough. If you can do two or three sets in perfect form uh, and you don't feel too challenged by it, it's probably a little bit light. So again, a good rule of thumb to how heavy should I go in an exercise is heavy enough so that the exercise feels challenging but light enough so that it feels achievable. It's a very simple formula, and pretty much everything you ever need to know about strength training is contained in that sentence. Heavy enough to be challenging, light enough to be achievable. If it feels too light, it probably is. If it feels too heavy, it probably is. So let your instincts be your guide. Kind of play around with it and try different things. Uh, again, it's relative to uh, different repetition schemes also. You know, if you're doing lower repetitions, you probably want to try and use a little bit more weight. If you're doing higher repetitions, you probably want to use a little bit less weight. But challenging enough or heavy enough so that that last, you know, eighth, ninth, tenth repetition is challenging but achievable in proper form. If you have any more questions, please keep them coming. I appreciate this. And I will be back tomorrow with a new variation of an old exercise that will fit in with anybody's home-based workouts. Thank you mucho.